Hello, my name is John Derigi. I'm an application engineer with Keysight Technologies, and in this video I'd like to review a time-saving feature for automating the 86100D sampling scope. There's a feature within the 86100D to record skippy commands as front panel operations are performed, and we'll work through the process of integrating these recorded commands into Keysight Command Expert to create sequences and save time automating the 86100D sampling scope. So the main pieces we'll review are how to generate Skippy commands using the Flex DCA Skippy recorder. We'll save those commands and then work through the process of importing the commands into Keysight Command Expert. Uh, once a command sequence is loaded, it's very easy to test the imported commands and then save the sequence. And the ultimate goal is to run the test sequence in a programming environment of your choice. Um, available environments are Excel, LabVIEW, MATLAB, VisualStudio.net. And in this case, we'll actually work through uh, playing the sequence uh, in Python. So the key benefits of the approach we'll talk about are that you don't need to worry about hunting through programming guides to find Skippy commands. You don't need to worry about formatting the Skippy commands or misspelling the Skippy commands. Uh, it's easy to generate sequences. It's easy to test the sequences. And then once the sequences are generated, we can loop on the sequences in the programming language. And we also have the ability to retrieve individual measurement results from the sequence. Here's an example of a Skippy command sequence on the left. One of the benefits of Keysight Command Expert is we can encapsulate dozens and dozens of individual Skippy commands into a single command line statement to execute a command sequence. And we'll talk about how to do that in the course of this video. We'll also work through generating Skippy commands using the Flex DCA Skippy recorder. We'll walk through the process of importing the commands and also saving the sequence. And then finally, we'll show an example in Python of how to run the command sequence. So let's get started. I'll open up the Flex DCA interface and we can start using uh, the Skippy recorder. So this is the 86100D sampling scope Flex DCA GUI. We can open up the Skippy recorder by going to the Tools pull down menu, selecting Skippy Programming Tools, and selecting Skippy Recorder. In order to record commands, we just need to press the Record button. And now, any front panel operation we perform, the equivalent Skippy command is being recorded in the Skippy recorder. It makes things very easy. So I can select Setup, Default Setup. In this case, I'm going to set the clock data recovery for 10 gigabit per second. I'm going to lock onto the signal that's being input to the front of the 86108B module. We'll turn on the precision time base. And for the purposes of the video, I just want to pattern lock the signal to look at individual single valued waveforms. I also want to make sure we're going to acquire the entire pattern. I'll turn on averaging to measure 16 waveforms and to know when the averaging is done. We'll activate a limit test to acquire 16 patterns. And all of the Skippy commands for the operations I performed have been generated. Uh, I'm ready to import these into the Keysight Command Expert, create a sequence, and run the sequence in Python. I simply need to stop the recorder, save the Skippy commands, and we're ready to go. And so I've opened up the Keysight Command Expert, and I also have the text file of all the Skippy commands we generated using the Skippy recorder on the 86100D Flex DCA interface. I can open up the commands and you can see they're just text files for all the things that we had performed. The next step is to import these commands into the Keysight Command Expert. So I can go to the File, Import Sequence. In this case, I'll just copy and paste the commands from the file into the clipboard. I need to tell Keysight Command Expert which instrument I'm using, and I've already loaded the command set required for the N1010A Flex DCA software, so I'll go ahead and select it, and you can see all the commands are recognized. Another piece I need to do is add the instrument address, and a way to quickly get this information is to open up the Keysight Connection Expert, copy and paste the Visa address from Connection Expert directly into Command Expert, and I can give my instrument uh, a name as well. The final piece is to take these two lines, which it doesn't recognize as Skippy commands, and have it convert these to comment fields. 
And so I can import the commands into Command Expert. And now we can test the sequence. So let me close the Skippy commands. I'll bring up the Flex DCA GUI again, and we can see what's happening as we step through each of the various command lines. The instrument's default setup. I'm recovering a clock. I set the precision time base. I pattern lock. And I acquire 16 waveforms with averaging on. And so you can see we've taken a dozen Skippy commands and simplified it to a single test sequence. The final step in the course of demonstrating this is to save the sequence and then just execute that in Python. And so I've opened up a Python development environment. I'm using the Spider IDE from Anaconda. You can see it's a simple script. I just point the Python script to the directory where I've saved the Keysight Command Expert script. I provide an address for the instrument. I provide a name for the sequence that I'm going to run. And in this case, I'm just going to loop on the sequence that I run three times and uh, end the script. So we can run the script. And just as we saw in Keysight Command Expert, we're running all of the dozen commands that were generated with the Skippy Recorder from a single line in Python using the sequence that was generated by command sequence. And so you can imagine in a bigger program when you might have dozens of different test sequences that need to be performed, a single sequence could be generated uh, for each of the tests within the Keysight uh, Command Expert and then run in whatever your development environment of choice is. And so one final point I'd like to make is that in addition to running a series of Skippy commands within a sequence, we're also able to query measurements off of a waveform or from an instrument, and we can pull those measurements from the sequence into the programming environment you're using in order to uh, capture uh, characteristics of the signal. And so in this case, I've just added a couple of quick statements to get the rise time and the fall time of the waveform I'm measuring. And you can see as I'm running the waveform and running the script, we're pulling rise time and fall time off of the instrument. Thanks for taking the time to review a time-saving automation tip for the 86100D and Keysight Command Expert. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your local Keysight support.